As part of its ambitious naval modernization program, the Royal Malaysian Navy RMN, is making strides in upgrading its fleet, with the first literal combat ship, LCS, of the Maharaja Lela class, KD Maharaja Lela, advancing through final fitting stages. According to an update published by Defense Studies on October 16, 2024, this milestone marks a significant step toward the ship's operational readiness. The vessel, which was downslipped into the water in May 2024 at the Lumet Naval Shipyard Lunas, is preparing to undergo a rigorous testing process to ensure its combat capability and efficiency. Following the completion of its fitting, KD Maharaja Lela will enter the Harbor Acceptance Trials, HAT, in November 2024, which will be followed by sea trials. These trials are expected to take approximately two years, testing the ship's propulsion, combat systems, communications, and overall performance. Full delivery to the RMN is expected by August 2026, marking a significant addition to Malaysia's naval capabilities. This vessel is the first of five Maharaja Lela class LCS ships, part of Malaysia's broader plan to modernize its naval forces. With four additional vessels currently under construction, the program aims to have the entire class operational by 2029, positioning Malaysia as a stronger maritime force in the region. The completion of this class of ships will be vital for the RMN as it works to secure its vast maritime domain, particularly in light of rising geopolitical tensions. The RMN's modernization efforts come at a time when it faces several significant challenges. A key issue is the age and obsolescence of the current fleet. Many of the Navy ships are over 30 years old, limiting their effectiveness in modern naval warfare. In fact, two-thirds of the fleet is considered outdated, severely hampering the RMN's ability to meet current security demands. In response, the RMN launched the 15 to 5 transformation program in 2015. This initiative aims to reduce the number of ship classes from 15 to 5, simplifying logistics, maintenance, and operational readiness. The Maharaja Lela class LCS is a cornerstone of this transformation, along with other key acquisitions like the Carries class littoral mission ships. However, progress has been slower than expected due to delays in construction and delivery. Of the 18 planned littoral combat ships, only a fraction has been delivered, weakening the RMN's patrol capabilities. One of the primary drivers behind Malaysia's naval modernization is the increasing strategic threat in the South China Sea. Chinese naval and coast guard vessels regularly encroach on Malaysia's exclusive economic zone, challenging the RMN's capacity to defend its territorial waters. Despite these incursions, Malaysia has often taken a diplomatic approach, opting for dialogue over direct confrontation. However, the presence of modern well-equipped ships like the Maharaja Lela class will be critical in maintaining a credible deterrent against such provocations. As Malaysia seeks to balance diplomacy with defense, the successful commissioning of the Maharaja Lela and its sister ships will be vital for safeguarding the country's maritime interests. Once operational, these vessels will not only enhance the RMN's patrol and combat capabilities, but also demonstrate Malaysia's commitment to maintaining security in the increasingly contested waters of Southeast Asia. The upcoming trials and eventual delivery of the KD Maharaja Lela are an essential part of Malaysia's efforts to revitalize its navy and strengthen its maritime defenses. With the Maharaja Lela class ships forming the backbone of the RMN's transformation, their completion is critical for modernizing Malaysia's naval forces amid rising challenges in the region. While the path forward involves overcoming delays and logistical hurdles, the successful deployment of these vessels will significantly enhance the RMN's ability to navigate the complexities of regional maritime security.